Happy. Happy Friday. <laughs> Sorry, wasn't ready there. Was a holy goodness. Uh, oh, let's see. More hot takes coming today. Don't go anywhere. Uh, this one is, uh, Monkey Man. <laughs> Patel, Patel. You we'll be right back. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking, how do I start this? All right, look, you ever have those moments when you're just exhausted and you're tired in the middle of the day? <laughs> well, here's what you need to do. You need to click on the link down below in the description, the Dubby link, D-U-B-B-Y, all right? D-U-B-B-Y, and you will automatically get a discount when you make an order. And this is energy drink powder that you mix with water. You can either do it in, like, a shaker like this, right? They have all sorts of flavors. They also have hydro flavors, which just help you stay hydrated. But the energy sauce is what I'm all about because I need that kick in the butt sometimes when I'm exhausted. So make sure you head down, click that link if you're needing something. And it's way cheaper overall than energy drinks. See you. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> I hope I hope your week went well. I hope you got everything done and you're ready for the weekend. It's just a few short, short hours away. Like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Most of you are not subscribed. Why wouldn't you be? We're fun here. <laughs> In the description box down below are links to all our stuff. Things we use every day and that we like. Coffee, like coffee brand coffee and blackout coffee company and promo codes to save you some money. All right. Excuse me. Oh man. Do we have a lot to talk about today? I, I honestly struggled to sit down at the computer to do this review. You guys know that I truly love Indian cinema. Like not all of it. Obviously, I mean, there's no branch of cinema that you're going to be like, oh, I love everything ever done from that country or from those directors or blah, blah, blah. There, there's no way to like it all. But for the most part, I have seen some stunning, fantastic Indian cinema. And I know you guys aren't really aware of it. I don't get many views on Indian cinema movies when I review them. But... I, I hope that changes at some point. There is some fantastic stuff coming out of India as far as cinema goes. And Holly Weird is starting to take notice with Kill, because now Lionsgate, they're doing an Americanized version with the the people behind the Indian version. Like, they, they teamed up with them. And it's supposedly going to be very spectacular. Great director in, that's running that show. And I had seen the trailer for this movie, and it basically looked like an Indian John Wick to some extent. A lot of fighting, a lot of action, a revenge story of some nature. And I was kind of excited. And in passing online, I saw some people talking about that there's uh, some stuff in it that didn't really fit. And kind of made them question what the real story is about this movie. But I was like, I don't see any of that in the trailer. So we're going to give it a shot. Let's take a look here. All right. Monkey Man, 2024, rated R, two hours and one minute. An anonymous young man unleashes a campaign of vengeance against the corrupt leaders who murdered his mother and continue to systematically victimize the poor and powerless. Now, let's start right, we'll start right there. It's not like the basis of this story is some people just showed up and killed old boy's mother. No, they burned down the entire village, destroyed it, just massacring a whole group of people. It just so happens that the head guy abused his mother, or tried to, 
and then killed her because he was angry. And the child saw all of this. So when he grew up, <clears throat> he decided to take revenge. Directed by Dev Patel. This is his directorial debut. <clears throat> written by Dev Patel. Imagine. Paul Anganoela. John Coley. Starring Dev Patel. Wouldn't you know it. And Pete Bosch. Charto Copley. Man, sure. All right. Uh, now you can watch this on Peacock right now, which is where I happen to have watched it. And it's gained, it's gotten some awards and some nominations. And as you can see, it's a whole list of things. It's an action epic, martial arts, one person army action, which makes no sense. Action, crime, thriller, and the list. There's a button to press to look at the rest of the list, y'all. All right. Let's get into it. If you're unaware, and, and just for the record, this is not necessarily an Indian movie. It wasn't made in India, in fact. However, the main character is Indian. For It's supposed to take place over in India. <clears throat> and the thing about Indian cinema the majority of it, like a huge, like 99% of it, the mainstream India movie system, regardless of which part of India it comes from. There are a few rules they follow. Now, they don't care about language. They'll curse. That's fine. There's no nudity. There are scenes of abuse on women. <clears throat> because generally speaking, in a lot of these movies, in any movies, that's the catalyst for the hero to handle business. All right? The bad guy is like the worst of the worst, generally speaking, in Indian cinema. But you never have to worry, generally, about nudity or showing too much, etc. <clears throat> in this movie, however... Not only is there violence against his mother, <clears throat> or tried violence, there's also a pretty graphic, like, fully nude sex scene in passing. Like, the camera's panning past, and you see two people involved in relations. And I was a bit stunned at that. <clears throat> As I said, not necessarily an Indian movie per se. There's also an issue. <clears throat> this movie is so dark, and I'm not talking about what it, about the story. I'm talking about it shot. Way too dark, and probably in 50% of the movie, you cannot see what's going on. It detracts. It makes the experience watching this terrible. And I have my T. I had my TV turned up as bright as I could get it, right? Vivid. Trying to, I had the curtains drawn, the lights down low. Like I was doing the best I could to give it a chance. And it was so hard to see. So that's a big complaint for me. I want to, that, that's not usually the norm also with Indian cinema. And Indian cinema is usually bright and colorful. And like, just is what it is. And that could be down to Dev Patel, this being his first time directing. I understand there were some budgetary issues and some things were shot on an iPhone and uh, GoPros, etc. It is obvious, I will tell you this, it is obvious that this is a directorial dip debut, uh, the first movie he's directed. It's noticeable. I'll just, I'll just put it at that. But as you're going throughout this revenge story, you understand for the most part, his motivation and what he's doing this for and that he's very angry and he gets severely injured and someone or some people save him. So suddenly in the midst of this movie, like a group of people, 
How did I say this? A group of people save him that live in a, like a, like an old, for lack of a better term, church, not really church, but temple, you know, if you will. And it's a group of people who are trans. And the leader of this group, like, gives him some advice and tries to help him point his anger in the right direction and, and work on himself. And suddenly he becomes super powerful. Oh, not, not super powerful. You know, like a better fighter and, and train. There's a training montage, you know, like he's really working while these people cheer him on. <clears throat> and it just came out of the left field. Like I didn't understand who these people were or why they're living in this temple in the middle of the forest or whatever. And they turned out to have a major part to play in the, the finale, the climax of the movie. And I was just like, what? What's going on? This is supposed to be an action, like martial arts revenge story. And the hero numerous times would die if it weren't for this group of ladies, if you will, that help him in the final battle. I don't, I didn't understand some of the choices made in the writing of this story. Now, it's fine. I don't have to agree with choices made by writers and directors, but this is not the first time I will say this. Without experience, sometimes you're taking too much on your plate as a new director, if you're also the writer and the star. Because you get spread thin and it affects the overall product. I do not know if that's what happened here, but this movie was stupid. Like it starts out good and like up to the middle point, it's going decently well, like it's understandable. And then the last hour of the movie, you could have edited that down to 10 minutes and been done in an hour and 10 minutes. But it just draw, it dragged on and on unnecessarily so, I would say. And so on top of that, with the scenes being so dark at certain times and certain points throughout the movie, it just seemed like a, a jumbled mess. It's not something that, like, I don't know anybody that would watch this and go, oh, wow, fantastic movie. Now, as far as Deb Patel goes, he's a good actor. He's been in some really great things. And my question is simply this, has that gone to his head and made him think he's better than he is? Because director-wise, I didn't enjoy this movie. Cinematography, the the way it looked overall, <clears throat> it needed some work, like a lot of it. And because they didn't have the money, evidently, to put into it, there was a lot they couldn't do to in post, I guess you would say. Now, this movie was supposed to go straight to streaming, I believe on Netflix. But when Jordan Peele saw this movie... He was so enthralled by it, he bought the rights to put it out through his production company and, I believe, put in theaters. And I got to tell you, for me, the moment I saw that he was a part of it, I had to rethink whether I wanted to watch the movie. He's very divisive towards a lot of people. In his movies. Now he didn't make it. Obviously. He just. His company bought the rights. To to show it. I guess. But overall. I don't know why it won anything. I don't know what awards it won. And I don't care. But. This is not a movie. That most people would even enjoy. It's very graphic. And the violence. I don't care. The violence. I don't care about the violence. Violence is fine. I like action movies. But it's not good action for the most part. I mean, some of it's good, but the way it's shot, the way it's filmed, like it's 
it's lacking. It's not even up to par with most Indian cinema where they really put a lot of work and effort into their fights and their fight scenes, their choreography. So I don't know what it's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be an Indian movie? I know it was not shot in India. <clears throat> it was shot during the Koof, which I'm sure that had a big part to play in it. Is it an American movie? Is it an Indian movie? What what exactly is it? I think that's the failure. Is It seems like a complicated mess of a bunch of different things. Now, I understand Deb Patel, when he was shooting this, he took a, he, like he took a lot of ideas from scenes from other movies and things from other movies, and he wanted to include them. That's fine, to honor other work. But, like when you look at a movie like RRR, great Indian epic movie, and you hold this up against that, this doesn't even rate on the same scale. This is not in the same sports field as that movie. And maybe he should have gone a lot simpler with it. I don't know. I don't know. Evidently, Holly Weird likes it, but I just didn't enjoy it at all. I 10% out of 100, maybe. It was such a slog to get through. And it was extremely graphic when in some points it wasn't necessary to be graphic. It is what it is. I would not recommend this to anybody. Uh, if you've seen it, tell me in the comments down below how wrong I am if you liked it. But it was, to me, it was awful. I did not find it satisfying. I will never watch it again. It has no rewatchability. It just needed some work. More funds, maybe, to put more into it in post. I don't know. But the story is a convoluted mess. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and start my weekend. Got stuff to do. Going to work on the office this weekend. Got a new shelf here for movies. I can get things organized better. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a great weekend. We will be back here on Monday to talk about a movie that I'm kind of excited to talk about. And it just happens to be Indian cinema. So prepare yourself. All right, for Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this big, fat, Indian cinema-loving nerd. We will see you on Monday. Oh,